Okay, there's something wrong with this picture. When I was here before, the place looked like a palace. Now it looks like the aftermath of an IRS auction. Somebody wanted me to believe the person I talked to was a real countess. Now I can see I've been played for a sucker. But who set me up and why? Well, there's a bald eagle perched on the chandelier. Man. Now that the animal rights lobby is huge, bald eagles are everywhere. <laughs> They're worse than pigeons. The front door was open when I got here. The eagle must have flown in. Looks like it's got a bright cigarette case in its claws. I've heard that eagles are attracted to shiny objects. As trash cans go, this is a nice one. Searching through that fireplace could be a real pain in the ash. Searching through that fireplace could be a real pain in the ash. Looks like the obituary section of yesterday's standard examiner. The ashtrays loaded with expensive imported cigarette butts. The ashtrays loaded with expensive... Whoever that was that met me here the other night may have set me up, but I'll bet she didn't get her cleaning deposit back. Whoever that was that met me here... Only the most callous criminal would be so careless with plant life. Looks like an expensive cigarette case. Uh, there's only one cigarette left in the case. Maybe I'll keep it around for a smoking emergency. The ashtrays loaded with expensive imported cigarette butts. Hey, neat. I saw a watch just like this one in my spy supply catalog. Really nice spy watches have things like built-in parachutes. Maybe there's more to this watch than meets the eye. What's this? It's a secret compartment.
As trash cans go, this is a nice one. As trash cans go. Whoever that was that met me here the other night may have set me. Whoever that was. Whoever that was. Whoever that was, whoever that was, When I get to the colonel's office, the police are just leaving. They tell me they've combed the place and come up empty. I'm not surprised. As I step inside, I try to remember what the colonel told me. Something about a winter chip and an emergency disc hidden somewhere in the display case. Maybe the info on the disc will tell me something about this chameleon. The colonel certainly does like his calendar. Spicy. Hmm. Nice rice steamer, a barometer, a few books. Nothing interesting. A deluxe hydro dispenser. And I thought my water cooler was nice. Rosebud. Boy, the chameleon sure was in a destructive mood. Sailing is one of the Colonel's two obsessions. The other one can't be mentioned in polite society. It's like a wall safe to me. Maybe that emergency disc the Colonel told me about will help get the safe open. These desk drawers were probably searched by the chameleon, but maybe he missed something. Looks like these drawers have been picked clean. These desk drawers were probably searched. Colonel always did. Colonel, Colonel always did have the nicest desk in the business. Some sort of greeting card. These desk drawers were probably searched by the chameleon, but maybe he missed.
These desk doors were probably... My P.I. instincts and keen sense of smell tell me that this envelope was sent by a woman of some kind. These desk doors were probably... These desk doors were probably searched by the chameleon, but may I'm sure the chameleon went through this stuff and picked up anything important. I'm sure the chameleon... Nice bow. Standard office supply stacking trays. Nice computer. Looks like it's all hooked up. Picture frames lying face down. Oh, nice looking dame. This must be the Colonel Squeeze. If I could track her down, maybe she could give me some more information. Oh, nice brown pot. Oh, nice. Looks like a munchy bowl. Looks like a munchy... This must be... a ceramic yam. Well, it looks like the chameleon didn't have time to smash all the vases. This must be the disc the colonel mentioned. Maybe I can run it on his computer. I should turn on the computer first. Standard office supply stack. What do you want? My name's Tex. Will you marry me? 
Well, that's very sweet, but I'm like seeing someone and he's gonna be here soon, so if you'll excuse me. I'm not looking for a date, sweetheart. I'm here to let you know that your boyfriend won't be coming by tonight. Maybe ever. Someone tried to murder the colonel. I don't know if he's gonna make it. He may be dead now for all I know. The colonel? Dead? I can't believe it! I guess we won't be going to Bermuda next week. Bermuda, huh? You know, if you have your tickets already, it'd be a shame to waste them. Hold on a second. How do I know that you didn't, like, kill the colonel? Well, he's not dead yet. And besides, if I were here to kill you, I'd have done it already. Okay, fine. Then why don't you just, like, leave me alone? I'm very upset. I have an item that the colonel was going to send you. I'll give it to you if you answer some questions. Okay, let's see it. There wasn't any money in it? <laughs> okay, I guess I can answer a few questions. Well, he was nice to me, so I was nice to him. I mean, it was fun. I feel kind of bad now, though, because um, he gave me this package that I wasn't supposed to open unless something happened to him, but I opened it anyway. And I was so disappointed because there was nothing in it except for this stupid key. No money, no jewels, no nothing. Sure, I guess you can take it. I, I don't even know where I'd use it. Well, I'm just a lonely girl looking for a new friend to play with. <laughs> you might be fun, but you don't look like you have very much money. Chameleon? Oh, I feel so stupid. The colonel mentioned that name a couple of times, but I thought he was saying he was getting close to getting his hands on, like, a million. I'd like to help you, but I can't. Are you trying to make me feel dumb? This manila folder looks worth taking. These documents are all in code. Hopefully the colonel's got some sort of decoding manual around here. Wow, detective files, detective dragnet, unofficial detective. I've never figured out the colonel's tendency toward tawdry smut. A small return receipt from UPEX. Apparently the colonel sent something recently. Back again? You know, I've been thinking, um, I think we could, like, be friends. 
No, I think you should stick around and talk to me for a while, because, um, I don't want to be lonely. Normally, I'd pay good money to be friends with you. But right now, I just need to ask you something. Okay, but remember me the next time you got something burning a hole in your pocket. Cash, I mean. Oh yeah, I got another dumb letter from the colonel. I mean, there were some, like, numbers and stuff written on a piece of paper inside. You can have it. I can't even understand what it is. This must be the safe the Colonel referred to on the emergency disk. This is a top-of-the-line security safe, and I'll need a combination to open this. Codebook looks like it'd come in handy if I could find some coded documents. Now, this could be helpful in decoding the kernel's file. I couldn't believe it when the name Elena Moore appeared in the Colonel's decoded files. I used to date her sister a few years back. Elena was an annoying 12-year-old who had a knack for entering rooms at the wrong time. It's obvious she still recognizes me when she opens the motel room door. So you're little Allie Moore, huh? Last time I saw you, you were quite a pest. And you'd just gotten your braces put on, right? Yeah, but that was quite a while ago, Tex, when I've grown up. You know... I used to have quite a crush on you. Yeah, I remember. 
Speaking of crushed, how's your sister? I haven't seen her since our nasty little breakup. She got married a few years ago. In fact, it was Debbie's husband who helped me get hired at GRS. It's been just over a year. Since then, I've worked as Marcus Tucker's personal secretary. He's the director of GRS. So what does GRS do specifically? They do genetic research, gene mutations, genetic viruses, that sort of thing. It was very professional, high tech. GRS hired only the best young scientists. But from the beginning, everything seemed really mysterious and secretive. Is that why you quit? I didn't leave until I started receiving the threatening notes. At first I didn't take them seriously, but they kept coming. I decided to get away and use my vacation time. But when I got back, someone had gone through my apartment. That's when I checked into this motel. How did the colonel find you? I don't know. He just appeared here one day. It took him a while to convince me that I could trust him. But now, for all I know, he's dead. I'm scared, Tex. Really scared. Look, I'll do what I can to help you, but I need to know everything. Why do you think someone at GRS wants you out of the way? I'm not sure. Since I was Mr. Tucker's assistant for a couple years, I had access to most of his files. Maybe someone thinks I saw something I shouldn't have. Well, since you don't work at GRS anymore, why do you think your life's in danger? The last day I came to work, I got a note that said my life was in immediate danger. When I saw that someone had broken into my apartment, I knew that I wouldn't be safe anywhere. Sounds like my next move ought to be to GRS. Can you help me get in? Yes. I still have a pass key to the main doors. You can take it, but please be careful. GRS has a 24-hour security watch. With the colonel in the hospital, I have no one to turn to. I don't know if I should, but I'm going to trust you. I tell Elena to sit tight and wait for me till I get back. I also warn her to keep the door locked and not open it for anyone except me. Elena obviously doesn't know anything more than what she's told me. She's given me the break I need, though, a passkey to GRS. Like the Colonel, I have a feeling that GRS will provide a few answers. The GRS office complex is located in the heart of New San Francisco. Elena's passkey gets me into the lobby, which is empty. A directory shows Marcus Tucker's office on the fourth subterranean level. I take the elevator down. Before the doors open, I hear a warning. Attention, Attention. Lethal, lethal security, security probe on, on premises. premises. Where am I? Is this a dream? Not quite, Murphy. You are dead. Dead? Wow. Then you're the... the big P.I. in the sky? That's right, Murphy. But now is not the time for you to be here. Your life must be restored so that you may fulfill a higher purpose. There is a vast and malignant evil at work on the Earth, and fate, for some reason that even I cannot fathom, has chosen you to oppose it. But why me? I'm no more thrilled about it than you are. Nevertheless, your fate has been decided. I will do what I can to help you make your way, but only you can fulfill your destiny. Now, go back and try not to get yourself killed again. You will know when the time is at hand. Try to move a little faster this time. If you get out of this alive, do me a favor and start getting some regular exercise. And it wouldn't hurt to lay off the smokes and booze for a while either. <laughs> 